Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Turka Race Driver 3 Career Mode. It's episode 28 and we're going to be doing a bit of the Williams Grand Prix series. Now, I'm, I have kind of noticed that recently the quality of um, our videos has probably dropped off a little bit and that is partially due to how stressed out I've been over some of the races. So I do apologise for that, but let's get back to our usual hyped ways for this series. Right. And we are at Hockenheim for the first race. Oh, that ended down. No, okay, cool. Okay, the underseer doesn't seem to be too bad, but we haven't tried anything at low speed just yet. So, let's just going to go through the flat out through this king down the back straight. We're going to break a bit before the 100 meter board. Put way too much power on on the exit and we lose the back end. We do have to catch it, but it's all as well that ends well. We're going to break again at the 100 meter board, get it turned in. Right, we do have three laps, so... First lap could can just be that learning curve for us. And we get it through almost flat out through that left thing. Right, so we have to slow down a bit more, just a bit more trail breaking as we go through the double left handed there. There we go to start our second lap. And again, we seem to be able to run onto that curve without getting a warning. That felt much better than our first lap. Let's see how it's going. I forgot to change my, the positioning of my keyboard, so it's feeling a bit weird, so I will change that after qualifying, but it's just a bit... Ugh. And we don't lose the back end, but we do break a, break a bit late, which means we can't carry quite we can't quite carry the momentum around that corner. So we're gonna break after the 100 meter board here this time. We get the power on all, all of that seems to be good so far. Looks like we're gonna get a decent lap in it would seem. Flat out round the right hand there. And we're unable to take that corner as what it should kind of be, which is a double right hand, double apex. And we really do show that it is one apex corner rather than a sweeping apex or double apex. The 109, can we get into the 108 on our final lap? Only one way to find out. Yeah, that's the lap done. Right, so let's see where that puts us for the race. I feel like it was a decent lap, so maybe top 10, hopefully. First place! We are back in this, boys! Okay, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're doing well in this series. We have to pick between laps 1 and 5, so let's keep that in mind as we get our revs nice and high. Let's show them what you and there's way too much wheel spin as we drop down to third from the start. And we have a bit of contact with the guy alongside us. Somehow we avoid West. Whoa! Okay. Let's restart that. Okay. Here we go. Revving up. Not as bad a start this time. We are in second again though. Okay, the understeer of the start is ridiculous. That is crazy. Whoa. Back end stepping out on us and we put the power in the rear tires are so cold. And the wheels, our rear wheels lit up like crazy there. I just don't have the confidence to put the power on with the keyboard. Because yeah, you just lose the back end. I really need a uh, I really need a controller or a um, wheel to be able to keep this, keep this power and so much power. It's so different from qualifying. But we are back up into first place now. So let's just get our heads down and try to stretch out a bit of the lead. Whoa, back end! 
The back end is going crazy, but that's fine. We've pulled out a big gap for a second. We seem to have a lot of pace in this series, which is great news for us. The lift off going in here so we don't cut a corner. We don't want to be getting in penalties. And we are pulling like crazy for a second. Bad. Okay, so this is right at the back of the field now of everyone who hasn't hit it yet. No, we didn't change our tyres, but let's see if we can catch up to the guys ahead before they hit or whether we have timed this absolutely perfectly. But here we go, boys and girls, as we're coming round the final two corners to start our last lap, and we will be leading by an absolute mile over second place. It's your last chance to overtake, because this is the last lap. Also, can we improve on our lap time, which is currently sitting at a 109 point something. Trying to keep the power in as best as I can without losing the back end. I tried to cycle to go yellow, but that's fine. We've got an absolute crazy lead. Gonna break just before the 100. Look at the gap for second now, you can't even see. That is an incredible lead. That must, okay, that's going to be Bruce almost 20 seconds. <laughs> Keep going, and our engineer is so excited as we come, as we approach the stadium section now, here at Hockenheim. Can we win? I think we've got it in the bag, even if I spin. Even if I spin, they wouldn't catch me. But here we go, we're going to win! Given the time penalty. No, I don't care. Yeah, outstanding driving! Who knows what that lap time was in the end. So it was about 20 seconds, a 20 second lead. And the time penalty meant nothing. <laughs> wow. But here we go, Silverstone GP. No extra points for winning by a bigger margin, so it doesn't really matter. But here we go, Silverstone, the home of racing. Flat out through cop. Oh, always feel special. And now into Mag Beckett and Chapel. Flinging it through the corners. Want to slow down a bit for the third one just so you can get a good run through the final corner, which leads on to this back straight. Now, now we went in a bit too hot into that left hander, which has compromised. That's probably cost us a few tenths. You can break really late here for slow corner. Carry the speed through. And that car comes out quite nicely. That applies in this game and in F1 games. The breaking point, the breaking point heading into Stoke Hornet is really late. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to restart. I've, I'm only going to do one lap. But yeah, as I was saying, the breaking point into Stoke is really, really late because it's uphill, so you can break much later than you would if it was just normal. But anyway, flat out again through Pop's corner. Flat out into Maggots and Beckett. I'm going to slow it down a fair bit now for Chapel. And a much better run through. I, I'm not sure what the fourth one's called. But yeah, here we go. As we pull the car over to the left as we approach Stoke Corner. This is Hangar Straight. Breaked a bit late. We tried to break out that last marker board, but I guess that was too late. Break about 70 meters for this. Try not to lose the back end while putting the power down. And now we approach club corner, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. Not corner cut, please. Okay, thank God. I don't think we gained much time. Fast sweeping left hand. And now as we approach Brooklyn's. And now into Luffield. Get the power on as early as you can. Now just through Woodcut and we will be finishing our first lap of qualifying here at Silverstone. It's a 115 flat. Let's see where that puts us for the race. And it's in pole by seven hundredths of a second for our home Grand Prix. Get stuck in. 
two pole positions. Can we make it two from two? Let's find out. Not the best of starts as usual. A very, very bad start there. Tires were very cold and that cost us. But anyway, let's get our heads down. Actually, did we need to do a pit stop in this race? Right, I'm tempted to pit this first lap, but I'm going to see how... Um, Whoa! That was crazy, he completely lost it. Right, let's see which way the car pulls when I'm going in a straight line. Oh, and Stock holds it around the outside. Great racing from him. But we're going to go down the inside through the right hand. Uh, and now we're on the outside, side by side. There's a little touch. But we get the exit through Brooklyn. We've gone wide through Lafayette and Stock's going to hold on to it. We're going to pull into the pits. And we're out of the pits now. Clear space, let's put in some laps and try to jump those guys in the pit stop. Sorry, if my suspension wasn't damaged, I would have stayed out with those guys, but it was, and I didn't want to risk gaining loads more damage and it costing our race, or having to do a restart or whatever. So yeah, head down. They will be pitting in the next lap or so, so we will be able to continue our racing with them. But hopefully it will be with the leaders rather than fourth and fifth place, but that was shaping up to be an exciting battle. As I was saying before, so rudely interrupted, it was shaping up to be a really exciting battle, so hopefully that will be able to continue, and I'm sorry for having stolen that from you guys. But, I honestly think we made the best strategy call, uh, considering what our situation was. But yeah, that is a little trick you can do. Take off the, the changing your tyres option when you are in the pits. And you'll save yourself so much time because sometimes you don't need to change your tyres. And look at the gap we've pulled. Actually, I reckon Stowe is my favourite one of the track. It's not Maggots and Beckett's as it is for most people. I really, really like taking Stowe. That being said, Cops is also fun, but I, I, I would personally put Maggots and Beckett's above Cops. Um, so yeah, Stowe, then Maggots, Beckett's, and then Cops. For the old track layout, anyway. No, even for the new track layout, um, I'm not a massive fan of the new section. The first turn one on the new track layout is kind of fun. Whoa! Driving, son. You built up a 10 second cushion on the next driver. Nice driving. Yeah, and that was that's kind of the pro product of overdriving on the last lap. Come that's cost us six this seconds. Final lap. Get moving. Oh god. If you want to keep your pace, keep off the infield. They'll only slow you down. Let's go. Come on, Stuck. Let's get this Oh god, and we've been absolutely mugged here. Not changing our tyres has really cost us in the final lap of the race. We should have changed our tyres. <laughs> okay. Look at our right left tyre. What a mistake. What a mistake, two mistakes in a row. Oh, I don't believe I've done that. And we're locking up like crazy now.
as I said, there's no extra prizes for how far ahead you finish. As I think it was Jackie Stewart who said, the aim of a Grand Prix is to win by the smallest margin possible. And we're going to have to set up for ninth. That is a massive shame. Here on the final lap at Silverstone. We're going to know you. Keep going. We lost over 20 seconds at the end just because the tyres went. But we're still in the lead of the championship with a total of 10 points as we now head into Zandvoort. Imagine if we had won that last race, we'd be on 20 points. We'd have a 10 point gap. But here we go. Little lock up on the front left tyre. But yeah, the not you changing tyres worked out at half nine, but not this time around. Right, let's just restart the lap. I don't want to put in too many laps. Let's go again. 1,600 RPM this thing does. No, sorry, 16,000. run wide that's going to cost us massively that's about half a second just there alone and you can put the power down a bit just to uh, get the back end to step out help you turn into a corner but again not doing very well here at Zandvoort question is are we pulling away from the guy behind No, we're not. Oh. Oh, dearie dear. We're not quick. If only we had one at Silverstone. But here we go, through the final corner, he pulls into the pits, what's our lap time going to be? The 113.3, let's see where that puts us for the race, probably not in first this time out. Oh, we've got a race on boys, let's go, here is Andover as we're starting towards the back of the grid, can we get a good race in? Don't forget, no grip on the tyres during this first lap first couple of corners but we move up into 13 so it is whoa okay that's here we go I don't know what attempt number this is now heads down now no mistakes. Let's say that I make a mistake, but come on, let's go, 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 go. We should be right on the back of Ransford now if I'd taken everything properly. And we damage our suspension, that's clever. And up into 10th we go. Oh. Whoa, and I press the wrong button. Losing the back end, but somehow we catch him right at the last second. Mandatory pitch tops can now take place. The pit window's been opened. Get a good exit onto the start finish straight, and we are in 10th. We seem to be able to break later than everyone else, which is great news. Side by side, through whatever corner that is, we're going to leave space on the outside.
managed to get the late apex through that left hander. We don't lose a back end this time and we are climbing through the field. But we do understeer like crazy under the brakes. I just hope our tyres can stay in good shape. Right, our tyres are still green. So that suggests to me that we can do the pit stop without um, changing our tyres. And I think it's worth the risk. So let's give it a shot. It is 10 seconds that we save as a result. Oh, that was really fast into that. And that's the race leaders right behind us. So our pit stop strategy has just about worked. And I think that that was one of the guys who was actually leading the race there. So... Back end stepping out like crazy. But we picked the perfect lap to come in the pits because it meant that we just jumped these guys. That's a lot of cars in the pits. We're going to move up into first. As as you can. This is the last lap. First place now. Can we hold it? I've had to do so many attempts. And I don't think in any of those attempts I made it past the first lap until this attempt now. So it wasn't anything apart from just being unlucky and all of that kind of stuff in the first lap. But anyway, I'm just glad that I've got to this point now. Not going to lie, I did consider quite a few times restarting the whole series just so I could improve my qualifying position here for Sandvert. And so I wouldn't have made that mistake in Silverstone. But... I haven't done that. We've continued and as a result this win will feel so much better. If we break a bit late and I knowingly did that, could it cost us? No, we're a bit further ahead of Mr. Benetton as I'm going to call him. And it looks like we will take the win here as Ander Ver. Oh, the back end almost stepping out. Yes, boys. One ten point four nine was our fastest lap. Stop. Okay, guys, we've got the se series in the bag. Only one track left, so we've got it. But anyway, we're still here at Oschersleben, so let's put in a lap. Let's see what we can do. We're going to break at the hundred meter board and then let it roll through. Or, in our case, save the back end. Get the power on. This probably won't be a good track for us. A lot of slow corners where we will have to feed that power in. But let's see. Can we pull away from the guy behind? And that's how you take someone up. You know what? Let's start from the back of the grid. Here we go. We have to pick between laps one and five. Let's see what we can do. We won't be able to gain many places at the start. And into the wall we go. Okay, right. Okay, guys, let's just... I'm tempted just to retire from this race, but I don't want to deprive you of a race in this series. 
Right, let's go. We're going to take it nice and easy this time round. Nice and easy, I said. And we're still in 20th. Make that 14. Whoa. Sir, Officer Commencement is to be pitched off at this rate. Oh, that was crazy. The car was on the verge of losing grip throughout the entirety of that. Come on back and don't. Okay, here we go. I haven't been to this part of the track before. Right, break at the 100 meter board for that, I think. The pits are open. Ready when you are. I'm not ready. There's contact between these two cars and we move up into 13th. Someone's into the pit. Well, the, the group leading up to first is quite long and quite packed, so maybe we'll have a chance to side by side with 12th place, but we're we are on the inside for this corner. But it's not easy to hold it on the inside. Still stuck in 12th place, but don't worry, when pit stops come, we will move up the field. We break 100 meter board this time. And he runs wide yet again. But we won't run wide. Everyone's into the pits! Okay, apart from the three guys. Of course. Right. Stupid mistake, but let's try again here at Office Laban. Ah, oh, come on. I wanna end this. But anyway, let's go in to turn one once again. Okay, that did not work. Remember, this race includes a mandatory pit stop. Okay, I feel so much more confident already on this fresh up tyres, I guess. The pits are now officially open. Come in when you're ready, pal. Someone's gone wide, someone's gone into the wall. Losing the back end, under braking, it seems. And we're up into plug place, we're not terrible. Let's get our heads down as usual. Down the inside. And that's why we couldn't go down the inside, he tried to hold the position. I'm not going to lie, the AI in this series are crazy. They are all over the place. I've never seen so many of them try to outbreak each other. But, at least a good fun racing, I guess. And it means you can't always rely on the AI for your braking points because they will make mistakes. And another one bites the dust. That's it now. Keep pushing. Try 
You know what? I'm done. <sighs> there we go. We win the championship. Yippee! Okay. Oh god, I couldn't do that at the end. Oh. Okay, so next time out we will be in the DTM Championship, Hockenheim, Zandvoort, Nürburgring and Eurospeed. Oh, I love Eurospeed, right? And then after that we will be doing the GT Tuning Cup. And then, only two more episodes. So four more episodes to go, guys. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about this episode. That, this has been episode 28. Um, sorry, it's been a bit of a shit show. But yeah, episode 28, guys. Thanks for watching. If in the rare chance you did enjoy this, uh, do leave a like, uh, and I'm sorry this, the video quality's dropped down in re recent races, but yeah, that's been episode 28.